In this video, I'll show you how to find the total of columns and rows in Excel. In our example, we have a person's different types of income for the years 2018 to 2021, and want to find the total income each year, as well as the total of each individual type of income over time. One way of doing this is to calculate the total manually using a calculator, but a quicker way is to use Excel's sum function. As shown, this works by first typing equals sum and then entering which cells you want to sum. Let's give it a try. So starting with the total income for 2018, we will type equals sum, open brackets, and then select all of the cells in the 2018 column. We'll then close brackets and click enter. As you can see, Excel has returned the total, which is £51,200. Now, we could input the same formula manually for the following years to find their totals. A quicker way, however, is to select the bottom right-hand corner of the cell containing the sum formula and dragging it across to the remaining cells. This has automatically adjusted the columns we want to sum. For example, for 2019, it is now summing the cells in column D. For 2020, it's summing the cells in column E, and so on. Now, to find the total salary, we can follow the exact same principle as to find the total of each year. So we type equals sum, and then select the cells we want to sum. We can then close brackets and click enter. Therefore, the total amount earned from salary is 201,000 from 2018 to 2021. This time, instead of toggling the cells to the right, we can toggle them down to apply the sum formula to the remaining cells. Now, Excel has found the total of each line item from 2018 to 2021, and it's also found the total overall income across the four years here in cell G10. So that's how you can use the sum function to calculate the total of columns and rows in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful, and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques, and examples.